Waiting for the bus often turns into waiting for the bus for a handful of students from Baza Gardens. Their neighborhood bus stop prone to flooding whenever it rains, making it difficult for the children to see where they're walking or make their way to school without getting their shoes or socks soaked. Can you give me a, an idea of how deep the water is when it starts to rain? I'd say a little bit above the ankles uh, for now. So, well, that I videoed yesterday. Yeah, but if the rain would have continued, it probably would have been deeper. It's a health and safety hazard that has parents in the neighborhood like Eugenia Gonzalez speaking out in hopes of a fix. Gonzalez bringing the issue to KUAM's attention after several complaints going unheard. Usually when during rainy season and storms, we get flooding uh, in our area. But right now, since school started yesterday morning, we uh, had to drop my girls to the bus stop because it was flooded. Um, it's been like this for, what, I think four or five years. So uh, it, something needs to be done. But as the community waits for their concerns to be addressed, they aren't waiting to give the kids a dry place to wait for their ride, one neighbor even offering her home to be utilized. We have a neighbor that has a canopy in front of their house, and when, uh, according to the message she put on our chat yesterday, uh, she will have some of the students wait under that canopy until the bus comes. A kind gesture, but a responsibility Gonzalez feels should fall on leaders to correct. It's sad because it, sh it should be happening. It should have been taken care of a while ago. If anybody who can do something about this is watching, what is a message that you want to send to them? Well, I think our, our kids, uh, are their safety and health is a big issue with this. Who knows what's floating in the water? Um, or what's underneath the water that they might step on and get injured. Destiny Cruz, KUAM News.